what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about until dawn in this video here today i've never talked about until dawn in depthly i think on this channel might might have talked about it once or twice but never a whole video dedicated to the topic of until dawn which is an amazing game if you haven't checked it out go play that game but until dawn is getting a movie according to the hollywood reporter so for fans of until dawn and you're listening to this you probably just never expected to hear news like this, but probably like myself, imagined it countless times since you played it back in 2015. The film, according to The Hollywood Reporter, is in the works and will see a reunion between David Sandberg and Gary Doberman. Or, yeah, and Gary Doberman. Now, this is the same group who I believe worked on Annabelle Creation and didn't Sandberg also burst onto the scene with his directorial debut being Lights Out? yeah i think so i think that was him and if you haven't checked out lights out please do yourself a favor and and do that very soon because it's a well-made film and i should revisit it also myself i haven't watched lights out in quite some time it's an amazing horror film i would say anyway sandberg is directing and doberman is doing a pass at the screenplay originally penned by blair butler first released in 2015 until dawn is an interactive horror video game that follows eight friends and frenemies who are brought together a remote mountain retreat with live with live or dice with live or die scenarios featuring a mysterious killer cannibalistic wendigos a cable car and a long ago mining cave cave in that reverberates into present day the members of this group must fight through their fear if they all hope to make it through the night in one piece the game proved to be a surprise hit with critics and received numerous gaming awards nominations now i haven't played this game in ages but my hope as a fan is that the appropriate story adjustments can be made so that the video game cast can return for the live action adaptation some are already not liking the idea online because wouldn't this movie defeat the purpose of the game which is for it to be like a playable movie granted i did always sit back like i mentioned during 2015 2016 and go wouldn't it be great if until dawn was turned into a film and now we're getting that and yes the biggest reason i'm hoping for the original cast to return is so that hayden panettiere can play sam again if you aren't familiar with until dawn again it is a very suspenseful intense experience you should play at least once the story revolved around if i'm recalling correctly these twins hannah and beck or hannah and beth one of the two who were victims of some sort of prank by their friends they go out into this snowstorm they die and then a year later the group of friends are invited to have a reunion at a cabin by this by the twins brother josh who is revealed to be playing a prank on them as well running around as some sort of slasher for revenge to the prank they they put on to his sisters which led to them running out and getting killed and then it's revealed that this is actually a creature story as well as you saw mentioned in this Hollywood Reporter article this is, has Wendigos in it so I'm open to the possibility with seeing this story on the big screen seeing this turn into a movie and hopefully like I mentioned get back all of the original stars I would love to see all the original stars come back and reprise their roles especially of course you know me Hayden Pantier back as Sam just so that way we can add another horror film to her resume and just see her booked and busy once again but again i will say if you haven't checked out until dawn it's a very memorable experience at least for me anyway it came out like right before i graduated high school a year prior in 2015 so when i was just going out of junior year into senior year i can't, don't remember when exactly it dropped i just know i played it when it came out the other thing i was going to mention is this reteaming of these two I'm all on board for I'm all for it only because I thought Annabelle Creation was definitely a step in the right direction compared to the original Annabelle film, which is a complete bust. I know Gary has his hands in a few movies I do not like at all and think are pretty bad and horribly written, like The Nun, which he is again credited for. But I think there could be some magic that comes of this. I think it could be a very well made film. I think a lot of fans of the IP, like myself, will dig the film. And I'm not really ready to knock it just yet without knowing a little bit more. Knowing that it's in the works, I get can cause some skepticism for some who, again, rightfully think that it defeats the purpose of the game, which is supposed to be like a playable movie. And now you're taking all the control away from me, the gamer, and I'm just supposed to sit here and watch the outcomes you've pre-selected for me because it's just a movie I'm, I'm watching. And I have no control over if these characters live or die. I want to know, though, for those of you who played, how many of you somehow managed to not have any people live? Because I've had a few friends who played, they managed to somehow have everyone live, and a few of them didn't have anyone live. I just want to know what your guys' experience was with the game. 
Let me know down below if you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.